The Covenant is a film directed by Guy Ritchie and stars Jake Gyllenhaal as a U.S. soldier and his interpreter, played by Dar Salim, during the latter period of the U.S.-Afghanistan conflict. Guy Ritchie has made a couple of good movies and even a few great movies in the past, but I feel like he is someone who has struggled to make something truly exceptional for a very long time now. I think his last great film was Snatch, and I think even his first film, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, is an even superior film to that. Guy Ritchie is someone who really excels at the big action set pieces, where I think that Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels and Snatch actually excel while also bringing forth some really interesting character moments. Going into this film, I was hoping for a different kind of film than the kind that Ritchie usually makes. I knew the action was going to be solid, but I was really hoping he would remember how to bring characters to life in this film. Film. Unfortunately, this film's emotional side, which based on the subject matter should be its strongest part, is really lacking for me. The performances are all really solid across the board, but this script is the biggest problem here. Pretty much right from the get-go, we get a lot of text explaining exactly who the characters are, we get a lot of location and chronological text, and we get a lot of monologues stating exactly how the characters feel. Maybe one or two of these types of monologues would be okay in a film this length, but there are literally two monologues back-to-back -back in which Jake Gyllenhaal's character says more or less the same thing, just to different characters. And they're really long and they're very obvious about what they're doing. One happens and then the next scene, the other one happens. This film also heavily relies on montage, especially during scenes which should be building the emotional core of the story. There's a lot of telling rather than showing in this movie. This is one of those really frustrating films where all the elements are there and people involved are very talented and skilled and have made really good work before, but unfortunately everything is just kind of bogged down by one department, and I think the script is that department in this film. Jake Gyllenhaal is excellent as always, especially given the dialogue that he has, but I think the real star of this movie is Dar Salim as Ahmed. This guy has a very powerful screen presence and despite being being the interpreter actually has a lot of scenes where he doesn't speak a whole lot and you can just sort of see him working things out on his face and he does a really good job in those silent scenes. After this big set piece there is a quieter scene between Jake Gyllenhaal and Dar Salim that is one of the film's best moments. It is mostly dialogue free and it's just a scene where you can tell that Dar Salim wants to say something to Jake Gyllenhaal but he just can't quite find the right words. The action, as I said, is excellent, but the things that invest you in the film are just not really there. The score by Christopher Bernstead is great in its own right, but it's present throughout the film and never really lets up. It also doesn't really vary that much, so it just kind of becomes this constant presence and it really hurts any of the scenes that are supposed to have some emotional value to it because it's just this overbearing presence throughout. And I think that, at the end of the day, is kind of my biggest issue with this film. There's a lot of montage, an over-reliance on music, and there's an over-reliance on monologues. There are very few scenes in this film where the characters are just allowed to breathe and the scenes and story can just sort of flow naturally. Everything is just, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. It really hurts the pacing of the film. While this film is certainly better than King Arthur and Aladdin, I wouldn't say it's anywhere near Snatch and not even close to Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Overall, I think I am going to give this film a positive score just because the action is excellent. I wish I liked it more, but something involving this particular subject matter I feel deserves a lot more than this movie offered. So I'm going to give this movie a 6 out of 10, and I really hope the next Guy Ritchie film is better than this. If you like this video, please be sure to smash that like button, and if you want to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell for future notifications. Farewell!